Hey gang, we're here from the Ashland Fly Shop and we are back. We're coming to you live with some breaking news for this Holy Water Upper Rogue Salmon Fly Supplemental. Okay, let's do it. If you live in the Rogue Valley and you follow us at all, you know that we are into week one of the vaunted salmon fly hatch on the upper Rogue River and Holy Water sections. Now, this is something that we always underestimate at how much people look forward to this <laughs> until we get into this time of year. And uh, whoa, it's a tidal wave of phone calls and excitement and I can't catch shit and I'm catching fish and uh, what the hell's going on and where do I go? and and so we are at the crest of the wave here at the Ashland Fly Shop, and we're bringing you the latest like no other shop can uh, about what's happening on the upper rug. So let's hop into it. So certainly the very best fishing that we've heard of so far has been on the main stem rogue. Um, that's where the, you know, since, since the opening uh, last Saturday. So, and we're really seeing some really uh, positive fishing, you know, even in kind of the lower section of the upper rogue, which would be like from Rogue Elk Park down. Now, if you are fishing from a boat, you have an insane advantage over anyone who's trying to fish from the bank. Fishing from the bank on the upper stretch of the rogue is, is you know, you, you've just got a, a, a few shots there. There's not much, not much uh, water that you can really reach. So if you're in a boat, if you're doing a guide day or something like that, you've probably had some pretty darn good activity out there. We've seen some really, really nice fish caught. We have had some overcast weather the first week, some cool weather, which is just fantastic. But what that tends to do is it d definitely tends to oppress the hatch. It oppresses the bugs. They don't fly as much. They don't get out in the air. So it sort of like pushes the hatch back a little bit. Now this is a positive thing because that means that we'll have you know, better fishing as we go into June and stuff like that as opposed to the hatch being like halfway done by the time we start fishing. So, um, so that's what I do feel like the upper stretch, which we have been fishing and running guide days on, we've had some good, some good fishing on, but not like we're typically accustomed to seeing from the hatchery, um, you know, Casey Park area down to Rogue Elk. I still think that stretch is going to be, um, really, really worth fishing. And I know we're still running a lot of, uh, guide days through that stretch. So really, really in play still hatchery down to Shady Cove. Um, Shady Cove will be the, th that, that stretch from Rogue Elk to Shady Cove will be the first one to kind of peter off um, and start to slow down. And then that upper stretch should, should maintain and, and be quite good. Um, so we're, we have another good, at least solid week, 10 days, you know, 15 days of fishing to happen on that stretch of the river. Now, let's turn our attention to the holy water. Now this is the place that we really get a lot of feedback on because anyone can really go up there. You know, it's walk in, it's a short stretch. Um, I've heard it all. I've heard, oh, I got some good fish. Oh, fishing's been terrible. There's tons of bugs, but no fish, you know, blah, blah, blah. We've heard it all already in the last seven days. So what I think is happening, and I think what, what is pretty obvious is that with the cool weather, it's kept the bugs down. There are bugs out, they are in the air, but they're not really on the water yet. So the cool weather kind of, kind of again, kind of oppresses their activity and their mating and stuff like that. So I think as we get into this next period of warm weather, which we'll see this week, we've got some really high temps coming, that's gonna fire those bugs up. It's gonna start getting them on the water and it's gonna start uh, getting some activity. We have seen the flows come up to about 2,400. That's definitely gonna influence, that should make the fishing even better with a little more rough water and stuff and that's good for fishing salmon flies. Um, you know, the fish can't look at that bug quite as closely when they're, when they're, uh, when the water's rough. So, you know, keep at it. I think this next week, two weeks, two and a half weeks at the Holy Water are really going to be outstanding. I know it's been a slow start, but as we talk about in our, all of our previews and all that stuff, you know, it's not a slam dunk up there. It can be very cyclical. It can go up and down, um, day to day. So, uh, you got to get up there a few times, you know, to get into some good fishing and I hope you do. And if we can help in any way, give us a call. We've got the bugs. Um, we've got the feedback and we're happy to help. And this has been your 2021 salmon fly season supplemental update. 
from the Ashland Fly Shop. Thank you so much for tuning in.